In this video, you're going to learn how to scrape unlimited high intent leads from built with and that's not it i'm also going to show you how to, you can export built with for five times cheaper than anything else on the market and how you can enrich those contacts using apollo.io okay so let's get into it now what you're looking at right now is the built with dashboard now we have a ton of reports here because we use built with a lot in our agency and this is what you would see if you had a built with subscription okay so to break it down what you're looking at is every custom report that we've made in the past couple days okay now what built with is on a fundamental level is it's a technology which can show you what companies are using other technologies so hypothetically speaking imagine i own a customer support SaaS, right i own a customer support software program and i want to target the customers of my competitors right maybe i have a better software i have a new feature i have a new new offer something like that so imagine i have this software i can go into built with and i can search for intercom for example and then i can go to intercom and i can see every single person using intercom on the internet now built with is a huge company they have web scrapers going over the entire internet so i'd be very 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 surprised if they were missing data because they already have 137,000 active customers that are using intercom right now okay now if you scroll down a little bit you'll see more stuff that you can do you can find intercom competitors you know companies similar to intercom you can browse technology groups you can get only intercom that's in the united states there is so much stuff that you can do with this software the possibilities are endless now in the example that i made to you guys where i'm you know i own a software program and you know i want to target the intercom competitors this is all you would need to do right you would simply just click download lead list you would take that you would put it into your enrichment software you would get the emails and you would export them okay and that would be a very simple job now bill with is a lot more powerful than just that it can do a lot more for example let's say now that you own a e-commerce conversion rate optimization agency okay and that's what you do for a living now what you could do is you could hypothetically speaking get all of the companies which are using shopify then check out of the companies that are using Shopify, how many of them have the meta ads pixel? And then out of the companies that have the meta ads pixel, which ones are not using Hotjar or not using Microsoft Clarity, right? And by doing that, you'd be able to see, okay, they're an e-commerce brand. Okay, they're running ads, but they're not checking for their conversion rates. They don't have anything like Hotjar or Microsoft Clarity to understand where are people dropping off in the funnel. And by doing that, you can create a high intent lead. Hey guys, we're gonna get right back to the video in just a minute. But real quick, do you want a done for you cold email lead generation solution that is able to consistently book you meetings with your ideal buyers? We just helped Morty from Your Business Now book over 30 clients in just two months of working together. And Avi from Daily Dose of Data Science get over 40 calls in our first 10 days of sending cold email. Now, if you guys want a consistent flow of buyers on your calendar, you can book a meeting with me and my team in the description below. Okay, talk soon. Now you can do this, for example, by going into the software. I'm not gonna go and go into the actual Shopify category because there's a lot of leads there and it's gonna take a lot, like a lot of time to, to load. I think if I go into Shopify, there's like 5 million leads. So I'm not gonna make you guys wait for that, but you could do the same thing on pretty much anything. There's 5 million leads. For the sake of the example, I'll do what I just said, but on Klaviyo, obviously you wouldn't do this on Klaviyo, you would do this on, on Shopify, but just to make this quicker, what you can do is you can click download lead list, right? And you're gonna click that and it's gonna queue you and it's gonna take you back to the dashboard. And now I can go ahead, find Klaviyo in here, the United States Klaviyo, right here. So Klaviyo websites in the United States, right? Now here are all the websites that are using Klaviyo in the USA, okay? Now what I can do from here, is I can go, I can click advanced filter. And from here, I can start adding all sorts of different filters. So for example, I can click search for technology. So let's say I want companies using the Facebook pixel, right? I can add that to my filter, but then I can write companies that are not using Hotjar. So I can do Hotjar, never used Hotjar. I can do companies that are not using Microsoft Clarity. Like this never used it add a filter but we can write for example they are using hyros right so hypothetically speaking imagine that right now we apply these same filters to something like shopify what would that be doing in the end of the day i want let's actually understand what's going on here with the data we know that they're an e-commerce brand because 
they are on Shopify. Nobody just builds websites on Shopify for no reason. We know that they're running ads because again, they use a Facebook pixel. We know that they're not looking at their conversion rate optimization because they obviously aren't using hot and they're, they aren't using clarity and you can add all the competitors in here to make sure that they're not looking at their CRO, but they do have high rows, So they obviously care about attribution. And if I were to export this lead list, get their emails and then email them and say something along the lines of, Hey, first name, I see that you guys are using high rows to attribute where your ads are, you know, making you money and not making you money, but you're not even looking at whether your funnel is converting, right? How does that make sense or something along the lines of that? And then you can offer to help them out as a lead magnet or just pitch them your service or have like a consultation or do whatever lead magnet you want to do. But point of the matter is that's going to be a high intent lead, right? You're approaching someone who can really use your service and you're building this out using Clavio or using built with and the Clavio filter. Okay. Now that's only one of the use cases of built with. Now what you can do is that's not the only way to build the report. When you click, when you come here, you can click create new report and you can look at all of these other options. So for example, you can upload a lead list and see what technologies they're using based on that lead list, right? So for example, if you have a list of leads and you only want to contact the leads that for example, have Shopify, you can upload that list, get back the list of technologies and filter by the ones that only have Shopify, right? So there's a lot of ways that you can use built with. Another thing, you can start a report based on companies which sell e-commerce products, right? This is one of the most popular use cases for built with, and that's why they have an entire category only for e-commerce, right? You also have an option to use keywords since built with is scraping the entire internet. It has access to a lot of data. If you want to go after companies which have very specific keywords in their descriptions or on their websites, this can be a great way of doing it. Same thing for retail, same thing for future customers, right? You can do a lot of different things. You can either do a competitor comparison where you'll put in a website and you'll see what technologies they're using and you'll see other companies who are using certain technologies that are similar to those, right? So Bill with is overall a very, very powerful software. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually go and get built with lists for a lot cheaper. Now, if you actually go and you try to buy built with, you'll find out very quickly. It's pretty pricey. It's about $500 a month in order to be able to export anything you want. Now that's pretty expensive. Now, if you want to get built with for a lot cheaper, you can consider joining lead Academy. Now I'm not trying to make this video commercial, but lead Academy is my coaching program. It's $99 a month. It comes with a seven day free trial. One of our utilities is we give you access, unlimited access to built with, right? As well as store leads, clutch agency, a bunch of other tools and utilities. You can take a look at the link in the description. I don't want to make this video about lead Academy, but this is the way that you can export built with for five times cheaper, right? So that's that let's set that aside. Now, when you actually do an export, this is what you're going to get from built with, right? You're going to get a list of information and you're going to get a lot of stuff. You're going to get the root domain, the location, the estimated technology spend, the estimated sales revenue, how many followers they have on social employees, how many SKUs they have, right? You're going to get a lot, a lot of information, right? First detected, like whatever, just a bunch of different stuff. Now this list in particular, these are companies actively using Clavio based in the U S right? So that's what we're looking at right now. Now I want to show you when you export from built with, you only get the root domains, right? Meaning you have a list of websites. You don't actually have a list of decision makers. So how can you now go and take this list and turn it into real decision makers? Now this is how you would do it. So what I'll do real quick is I'm going to export the first 6,000 companies because in our enricher, you can only put 6,000 companies in at a time. Okay. And I'm going to bring it over to Apollo. Now I'm going to assume that you guys already know what Apollo is, right? If you don't, then I have a, I have a video on Apollo separately, which where it's like a full course. I'm going to link that in the description and probably somewhere here in the corner. So you can take a look at that there. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to assume you guys know what Apollo is. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Apollo. I'm going to go into the company tab and I'm going to put 6,000 companies in to this section. And out of those 6,000 companies, Apollo is going to be aware of 3000 of them. Okay. Now, immediately we're going to apply some basic employee counts, right? Because we don't want to be targeting companies like Netflix. And now we're going to see 924 companies out of our list, right? Again, we have hundreds of thousands coming from built with. So this is a small batch out of them. 924 are actually relevant. Now, what we can do is we can start applying all sorts of other intent filters. Now, of course, it would have been better if we did this in built with, but just for the sake of an example, I can go into Apollo and I can say that I want them to have Shopify, right? 
Now what this list is going to do is it's going to show us the list of the companies who only who have Klaviyo but also have Shopify. Now again, just for reference, I would recommend you do this through through built with in the first place. But just because I didn't do that, I'm just going to show you here the companies and what you're actually going to get. Okay. Now, once that's done, right, you can start looking at your list. As you can see, we have a very, we have very low amount of filters. All we have is domains, employees, and, and just one technology filter. But you can see that these companies are now Shopify stores who also use Klaviyo, right? Meaning these are definitely e-commerce brands. If they have two softwares, they're probably an e-commerce brand. So if I click on one of these, smart indoor climate control, right? You can see that this is obviously some sort of e-commerce product. And in essence, that's how we built out this lead list. Now from here, we filter down our companies. Now we still need the decision makers. So in order to get the decision makers, you got to go to people and from people, you can find the people that work at these companies. So out of those hundred companies, we have 600 decision makers. And from here, all we got to do is start applying job filters. So we'll go into here. We'll do like CEO, owner, founder, all the basic titles like president, executive, chair, marketing, growth, sales, business development, right? So we're going to put the basic job titles in and immediately we're going to get 156 people and we're going to look at the quality of these elites. For example, Paul, he's the CEO and founder of this company. If we go to this company, find a powwow near you. So this must be some sort of e-commerce company, but they also have retail locations, or I think these are some sort of events. So that's not going to be a perfect feel. But for example, this guy ran, he is the co-founder of that company we looked at earlier, right? Uh, Sensibo. So now I can go back to Apollo, right? Let's say I want to contact this lead. All I have to do is just go ahead and click on access email. And I now have the email address of this person who I got from built with, right? And in essence, this is how you're able to build out a lead list. Now, again, this is all a very, very, very fundamental approach, right? In reality, if I were to do this, I would be taking these companies. I would be building out all of my intent data inside of built with then bringing it into Apollo and then using a variety of keywords to make sure that I'm actually targeting the right people. Okay. I wouldn't just be doing it in this simple fashion. This is just me to make a demo. This is the only reason I'm showing you that like this, right? In reality, I would scroll a little bit to the right and I would start looking at keywords. So let's say that out of all of these keywords, I'm looking, what, what, what are the sorts of common things that we're seeing? We're seeing tech, we're seeing fashion, we're seeing apparel. If I wanted to, let's say, if I wanted to make a lead list where I'm only targeting fashion brands, which by the way, is something you can do and build with, but let's say I wanted to do it on Apollo. I can now come into here and I can also just put the category apparel and fashion. And then out of my lead list, I'm going to see only the apparel and fashion companies, right? So now, right. I know for a fact that this is an apparel and fashion company who is on Shopify, who's also using Klaviyo, right? And you can see that I'm able to find this person or this company on here. Now, again, there's not that many leads, right? There's only 17 leads in that specific segment. Now, again, this is also a very, very broad example. When you do this, you're actually going to do a lot higher volume and you're going to get a lot more leads. Keep in mind, this is only 6,000 websites. And on this search alone, we have 240,000 right? So as you keep putting each batch in, you're going to get more and more and more leads, right? But first you have to actually go and just figure out who it is you want to be targeting. Okay. So I hope everything makes sense. I hope this was clear. I hope you guys understand how you could potentially use built with the thing with built with is it's such a versatile software. It depends on how you're going to use it. And that's where you're going to kind of determine what your strategy is for some people. They're going to just export just intercom, right? And then boom, they can contact the competitor. Some people are going to export companies using Shopify and the Facebook ads pixel, but not using Hyros, right? And you can sell them reporting software, right? That's another example. If they're running ads, but they're not using a reporting software, sell them reporting software, right? These are indication strategies. These are high intent leads. So if you guys, want to see more content like this, where I actually build out high intent campaigns live, then feel free to like and comment. Also, if you don't mind subscribe, we are still a pretty small channel. So literally every single person helps. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time.